Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD and the difference between BIOS and Unified in less than five minutes. And let's get started. Now, what's BIOS? It's basic input output system. It's a low level software that resides in a chip on the computer's motherboard. It loads up when the computer starts up and it's responsible for waking up your computer's hardware components to ensure all components are functioning correctly during boot time. It runs the bootloader to start up your operating system. Now BIOS goes through the POST, which is Power On Self-Test. This happens before booting into the operating system to ensure hardware configuration is valid and working correctly. If something goes wrong, you will see an error message on the screen or several beeps. After the POST, BIOS looks for the MBR, which is the master boot record to launch the bootloader. BIOS is outdated and why? BIOS has not advanced for the latest PC technology in the market. It has several limitations and it can only boot from hard drives of 2.1 terabytes or less. This is due to the way that BIOS reads the MBR. Now Unify replaces the BIOS, somewhat. Unify still provides a way to boot into BIOS. It's a firmware that can boot from hard drives of 2.2 terabytes or larger due to using a GPT partition instead of the MBR. It supports secure boots, which actually checks for malware during the boot process. Supports networking features within the firmware, which aids remote troubleshooting and configuration. Traditional BIOS, you have to actually be sitting in front of the computer to configure it. Now the overall conclusion, Unifier is a big upgrade for today's PCs in the market. It's a firmware that runs in the background, supports modern hardware, and most PC users would never notice, it, especially us IT administrators. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. What's the difference between BIOS and Unify? And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.